Hi folks, how are you doing? Um, I must apologise because I think that today's video is going to turn out pretty dark, whichever way we look at it. It's just after 10 o'clock now and it, it should be relatively light, but I think it's just only going to get darker throughout the day. Anyway, um, today, or, well yesterday and today, I was hoping to uh, get some arc welding done and get the big generator hired in and sorted out with that, but um, it seems that uh, the weather's against us a little bit and to be honest with you I don't fancy arc welding in the rain seems like a bit of a daft idea to me um, so yesterday I got some uh, revenue and customs paperwork done for corporation tax etc um, that's out of the way now so I'm back in the forest today I've got the, the chainsaw out and uh, this I've shown this area before but uh, I have been having some think, thoughts about it over the past few days uh, just pointing you down here is the line that I'm cutting down so directly down that way um, the thoughts being that every single one of these trees even though they're not on the actual line on the track every one that's leaning um, and that's got too much of a lean on it and is, is exposing some roots this one's a prime example if you look up the tree it's swaying around and it's 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 up and it's got green leaves at the top but all these back roots uh, exposed right up um, frankly that means that it's not a safe tree uh, and as you point as a point down this way it only gets worse you can see there's more leaning some more leaning here some that have actually come down uh, one that another one that's come down you can see the roots up here and some over there as well now as I say the thoughts for this track this uh, this is Beggars Canyon by the way the thoughts for this is uh, I'm going to cut down the ones that are e aren't even on the track because they're going to be needed for building material. Um, I did a lot of paperwork yesterday which I just find dead boring so after I'd finished that I had a bit of an investigation of uh, of, of BC tracks basically so um, around Squamish, uh, some of the ones that are uh, in Retalac, some of the ones kind of just over the other side of Whistler as well. Um, Whistler's, a lot of Whistler is, is surfaced as you'll know. Uh, you know, half of it isn't, it doesn't doesn't get shown as much as like the famous airline etc. Um, but there's definitely some stuff around Vancouver Island as well, uh, Darren Berrycloth was uh, was responsible for building a lot of that. But we're going full Canadian style on, uh, on, on Beggars Canyon, uh, that means that we're going to need quite a bit of building material so you know, we're just going to jump in and cut down anything that doesn't look safe, regardless of whether it's on the track or not. I'll crack on with that, I'll get back to you shortly. So one of the things about working in a, a, a piece of forest that hasn't really been thinned or, or hasn't really been managed uh, for a, a lot of years is that, you know, obviously nothing, nothing's been thinned, it's all been, it's all like tangled together and the issues that you get is you get hung trees like this so you cut them and I'll get, get you down here and show you the so this this is off its hinge you can see in here but it's just stuck it's not having it so one of the options that you've got available to you is is to use a, a winch um, you can see up, up there it's just like and this is the one of the things about these large trees is that's just like velcro they the, uh, it gets tangled up and there's not, not a lot you can do so we're going to winch this one see if we can get the blooming thing to move I'll tell you what instead of having shaky cam I'm going to put it down let's put you down on here see if we can get this thing to move So it's off. The other issue is though it's still hung. So you can see it's still hung up. So I'm gonna have a look at it. See whereabouts it's hung up. Uh, it still appears to be in that branch. So I think probably the idea is next is to winch it out from the side. This is unfortunately this is just the way it is in here. Um, and it all eats your time, it's not like a straight over there, it was very much kind of put a gob in it, cut its back, 
maybe smack it a couple of times with the wedges psh, it's over take the branches off and log it up in here it's a whole different story just getting one tree down is a pain in the backside one thing my experience with forestry has taught me is there's only two things that you're ever going to be you're either going to be hot and wet like today or hot and dry um, I think come January, February, um, I'll be looking forward to the days of, uh, of cutting wood because it certainly keeps you warm. Crack on. It's getting to the time of night now where it's a bit dark to be seeing what you're doing properly down in there. Um, we're standing on the entrance to um, Beggars Canyon now. Beggars Canyon will send you down through that away and then bends you round. But the, uh, it's going to also come down through this corridor through here um, and I don't know if you can see but there's a bit of an embankment up at the top there uh, that always to me always says well that's a landing area therefore the thoughts are that I should uh, I should put a bit of a jump into it into the landing area so I'm just having a bit of a scout over of that before I head home um, what I'm thinking is just get up it a little bit here, can shape it out with the digger a bit. Uh, what I'm thinking is we can pop out of, maybe pop out of there, onto a, a corner, jumping in, possibly out of that kind of direction, round, it'd be up in the air somewhere around here, and then shape this, um, this banking down to make it a bit smoother, and then away down through that corridor. So, uh, so that's the thoughts on it. I just need to give it some more thought this evening um, about what I can do. I've got a pretty good idea for for a jump into it. Just need to clear a bit of bit of room to get us there. So anyway, um, I'll have a think on that. Uh, tomorrow is uh, higher the big 2.5 k uh, weld uh, generator, and I think it means I'll have plenty of power to get the welding done apparently they, they it's supposed to be dry so that's that's great it's supposed to be dry all day it has been it has been pretty dry this afternoon it's only been spitting it rained this morning and for the afternoon it's been okay so fingers crossed the weather report's right for tomorrow and get that job done and get this digger alive and going again cool anyway i'm just gonna have a bit of a snoop around and then it's time for me to head off catch up with you shortly <laughs> 